Detroit Hamtramck plant is also on the list of plants that the company will be idling. The move is expected to impact more than 1,000 jobs, and that has leaders in Hamtramck inviting the community to a town hall this weekend. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live with more on what they're hoping to get out of this meeting. Jim. That's right, Dave. This is the notice from the Hamtramck mayor that says we must fight for our community. This town hall is going to take place right here inside the Hamtramck Public Library. The mayor wants as many people as possible to speak out. We'll tell you how in a second. We're really interested in kind of the collective um, ideas of our residents. This is personal to Hamtramck. It was during the 1980s that General Motors convinced the people of Hamtramck and Detroit to let them move out and clear out hundreds of homes, businesses, and churches to make way for the big pole town plant, now set to close early next year. That legacy is always gonna be there and it's always gonna be in the back of people's minds. There are a lot of stakeholders here and we wanna make sure that um, all of their voices are, are you know, given the opportunity to be heard. This is also present day painful. 1,500 jobs will be lost. Half are already gone with reduced production. The plant provides almost a million dollars a year in Hamtramck local tax revenue, one sixteenth of the budget, and more lost revenue for Hamtramck schools. They are absolutely staggering for us. The mayor says they may have to cut essential city services, including police and fire, in a city that has already been through a state appointed emergency manager. What the services we can deliver to our community and, and the quality of life for our residents and on our viability, frankly, as a city. Now the mayor wants everybody to show up to this town hall. It's set for the Hamtramck Public Library, 9.30 Saturday morning. The library is located at 2360 Kniff here in, in uh, Hamtramck. General Motors has not been invited, but could certainly send somebody. The mayor says she's been talking with the company. They haven't told her what they plan to do with this plant, if it's gonna sit idle or be sold or be torn down after it closes next year. A lot of the same things President Trump was talking about over in Ohio this afternoon. Live in Hamtramck, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.